Now available on your home screen. Based on a graphic novel, Worlds Collide as a foreign exchange student battles with Chinese mythological gods in the action comedy series, American Born Chinese. So do you have a love partner yet? Is there a Jim Wang here? Wang. This is Wayne Chung. Wei Chen. He's a new student and he's Chinese, like you. He's gonna tag along to all of your classes. I found seats for us. Come on. Except math. He's way ahead of you in math. I don't know if I have the right words to describe how I feel. It's, it is a bit overwhelming, but also this show, we've been sitting on it for a year. I've been like pumped for everybody to see it. For like a year now, I've known how great it is. I knew about the graphic novel through my nephews. They studied it in school, so I found it one day on their desk and read through it and thought it was amazing. I read the graphic novel in 2006, and for about 10 years, I would hear from Gene's um, uh, publisher that he's not interested in adapting it. And it wasn't until in 2016 Gene and I uh, met on a panel and we just sort of hit it off. And a couple months later, he called me and said, you know, I, I think I'm ready to do this now. Would you do it with me? I said, oh, yes, I've been waiting 10 years. I don't know if it was necessarily the right time as the right team. I, I think I was just always kind of freaked out about how the book would make the transition to the screen. I may be able to help. What's going on? I'm not from this world. I need your help with my quest to stop the uprising. For me, when I was a kid, um, comics were an on-ramp to multiple things. They were an on-ramp to the, uh, the habit of reading. I think the reason why I read as an adult now is because I fell in love with comics as a kid. The gate between Earth and Heaven is opening. Okay! You must stop it or everyone will perish. The fate of your world hangs in the balance. When I read the graphic novel, it was like, it was like someone, it was like Gene had spied on me while I was growing up <laughs> and just drew frames from my exact life. Like everything down to Jin's aesthetic, like his shirt and his terrible haircut is everything I had. <laughs> no one can ever tell whether Ben's in wardrobe or not. Yeah, even, even on our, the show. Even our wardrobe department can't tell. Everything that the Ben's character goes through, like I went through in some way uh, growing up in, in, in suburban America. I don't really see how I fit into this whole thing. You're my guide. Can we come up with something a little bit cooler than Guide? Servant? Yeah, no, you're right. Guide's better. Do you know anything about the Monkey King? Uncle? Everybody knows him. She's trying so hard to try to, to, to understand her son, to have, to have conversation like when he was six years old, that he would tell me everything. That's exactly what Christine's trying to do. And at this age and time after, we just totally lost that that connection and she's she's a little sad but she's still trying you don't share the same language you know you you may speak the same language but you don't share the same language it will be difficult and dangerous be the hero what if i'm not though it's, it's a little surreal because it's something that we've um been working on for or at least I've been thinking about for a really long time and on Monday we you know screened it at the White House it's really wild and it, I'm like honored it's not going to be just about a Chinese American narrative it's it's about a universal narrative of anybody who's felt awkward and was trying to search for their identity in, in high school I never had a show like this when I was growing up and I know that it would have been really helpful for me to have a show like this. And I'm, I'm really glad and grateful that I get to be a part of this project and, and this show that is going to be that, hopefully, for someone else out there. So freaking unbelievable. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.